Hello every single buddy. Today we're going to be having a look at how to go about converting audio and video files from the PlayStation 1 to a playable format. Now I've been thinking about doing this video for a while but I, I kind of wanted to wait until I got to a point where I was competent enough at it to be able to truly explain it properly and to truly, you know, um, explain things as accurately as I wanted to and I think now I'm finally at the point where I can do that and so today I think it'd be a good idea to be able to finally show you guys how to go about converting audio and video files from the PlayStation 1 and so there's a few steps to this but nobody else on the internets of YouTube ever did like a tutorial on how to do this and so I think today I, I, it'd be good be good to do it and there's, like I said there's a few steps to it but I, I think it'll be worth it in the end you know if you really want to get those PlayStation audio and video files and so with all that out of the way let's get started and so for this we're going to be needing two different programs now the first one we're going to be needing is CD Mage and I'm going to have all the links all, all the different links in the description so you know if you ever want to um, know where I go to get to these web pages then you can just follow the links I'll put in and you can find them quite easily. But the first one you want to get to is CD Mage and CD Mage is really cool and this is the one that we're going to be using to be able to access the PlayStation bin files. So if you download a ROM like a PlayStation ROM, chances are it's going to be a bin file and you can throw that bin file into CD Mage and then grab the video and audio files within it. They're not going to be playable when we grab them because they're really weird file formats. But, you know, this is a good start just to be able to get the files to start with. And so that's what we're going to be doing first, one step at a time, right? And so let's go ahead and download it. So we've got it over here. I've already got it all, you know, um, set up, you know, extracted and all that kind of thing. But one other thing I wanted to talk about before we start up CD Mage is that CD Mage itself is a really good trusted program. But whenever you're working with, you know, ROM hacking and being able to get into different files and all that kind of thing, you always want to be covering yourself and always check. For this file, for this video, I've already done it, but you always want to check that the files that you're downloading are safe and you're not, you know, downloading anything malicious and so whenever you download a file from any site can be any site you want always throw it into either virus total or into your windows defender make sure you do that because you know you, you never know you never know um i think it's just a good measure to take just to just, just to make sure that the files you're working with are all, are all good are all good i've had it happen to me a couple times with I think it was a PlayStation 2 model viewer I was watching a video on where, you know, it was very, uh, when the file that the person was saying, oh, you got to download this file, was, was dodgy. And so, and so I, yeah, you always want to check. But thankfully, with these ones, I'm going to show you, they're perfectly fine. And so anyways, with that little detour out of the way, you want to get a CD image uh, from this site. And once you've done that, you then want to go ahead and start it up. And so we're going to start up CD Mage, and what you want to do then is get your chosen game. And this can be any game that you want, provided that it's using a bin file, right? And so you can go ahead and throw your bin file in. In this case, we're going to be using G Police, it's a very cool game. And we're going to be using M2. For some reason, M1 throws it an error. Don't know why, it just does. Um, so you want to pick M2, press OK. And then you're going to have this whole kind of structure tree, I guess it's called. And you want to be digging into these files over here. And once you've done that, you'll then find that you've got all this garbage. But none of this matters. None of this matters at all. What you're looking at is just these files over here. And as I mentioned before, did I mention it before? I'm not sure. Um, I'll mention it now is that STR files are video files and .xa files or .xai files are audio files and so we're going to be downloading we're going to be extracting should I say both of them and so let's get this one extract right click to desktop and then extract and all I did there was 
right click it and then go to extract files right and we're also going to be grabbing while we're at it we're going to be grabbing a music file same same deal just right click extract file take it to your desktop or wherever you want it to take it to and then you're all good and so if we close out of cd mage now we're completely done with cd mage don't need to use it anymore when we back out of CD page, you'll notice that you've got these two files again, STR being audio, FMV kind of files, video files as they were, and XA being audio files usually. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that sometimes you won't come across, sometimes you won't see .xa files because dependent on the game, the PlayStation 1 game depends on which audio file they use. It's weird. Sometimes they use different types, like Metal Gear Solid uses um, .data files, which I have no idea how to get into. But luckily, almost every PlayStation 1 game in existence uses .str files. So if you just wanted the video files from this, then you can definitely go and do that. But with the .xa, it's always a coin toss. So just be aware of that. And so with that out of the way, you might be thinking that you can just go ahead and throw this into VLC, but unfortunately, due to how obscure these file types are, you can never just throw them in and have them work straight off the bat. And the reason for that is, like I said, it's just very, it's just a very obscure file format that was only ever used by PlayStation. And so what we need to do now is to convert them to a video file and an audio file that VLC and Windows Media Player, whatever, all these kind of ones would recognize. And how we do that is we're going to be, we're going to be making sure I'm recording first, and then we're going to be having a look at this one. And as I mentioned, all going to be in the description, but this one is PSM Play. And PSM Play is pretty cool. It basically just converts, as it says here, .str and .xa files or .xai files into WAV and AVI files, the readable formats as they were. And so you just want to go ahead and download it. And as always, throw it into here, make sure it's all good. And once you've got it over here, which is this one, you'll notice that you can't actually play it and it says that it needs a DLL file. Don't ask me why it didn't just come with that file. I don't know, it's weird. But you need to get this DLL file and you can get it from this site. And the way I found out that it was from this site is from this very cool person down here. Um, DTN guy says that it was uh, it's at this site you need to go to. And this is the site that we went to. And then you'll be taken to this one. And you just want to go to the first option, the first download over here. Want to download it, it'll say it's taking five seconds to download and it'll download over here and again just to make sure you know and once you've downloaded it extracted it you'll come across this over here and you only want the dll file and you just want to drag it into the same directory that your psm play file is and so once you've got that in there you can then go and play it now one other thing, it might not even happen to you, but for some reason in my case, sometimes when I double click it, if I've recently opened it, closed it and then tried to open it again, sometimes what will happen is that it will um, hang up, it will, tell, it will be kind of weird, it will um, you know, have trouble opening. And in this case it seems fine, but if you ever double click in this program and it won't open, it just won't do anything, have a check in your task manager and then close it if it does in fact hang up. Okie okay, dokie, okay. so now that we got all, all that stuff out of the way, finally, the final step to this whole thing is that what you want to do is you want to double click PSM Play, open it up over here, and I think for the first time you boot this up, it's only going to come up with one vin window. What you want to do is when you want to press this PL button over here that stands for playlist, press this, We'll come up with playlist and then you want to drag in your .str file into here we're going to deal with the str file first just because that one's uh, easier to explain say and so you can play it over here as you can see it plays the video there we go just in case it was covering my camera a bit um yeah there's the video and what you want to do now is you want to right click psm play make sure you're hovering over psm play 
and you want to output to AVI and then you want to direct yourself to wherever you want to you know have it make sure no sound isn't ticked and then you want to um, press save and then press start on this new tab that comes up and you press this it'll confirm it for a second and that's it and you've got your AVI file over here and now as you can see you can go and play it with let's say Windows Media Player if you wanted you can go and play it, and as you can see, go through the whole. You can go through the whole of the video file, and it works perfectly. And so, and so, yeah, that that's basically it. If you were just interested in the video file, now for the audio file, it works a little bit differently with the audio file. I'm going to explain this real quick. Is that you want to double click just to click on it, so it goes yellow, and with the audio file, it it's kind of works a little bit differently. The right way to think about an audio file with this kind of format is that, you know, think of it like a CD. So imagine you've got an actual physical CD. You know how CDs have different tracks. So they have track one, track two, track three, track four, etc., etc. This works pretty much the same way. And you'll see you've got channel over here and you can go through the different channels. And that depends on which um, track will play. And so as you can see, we can play the different the different ones and where this is really important is if you right click as we did with the video file and go to output wav and then save it it's only going to save that one that you're on it's only going to save the channel that you're currently on so it's not going to do the whole thing it's just going to do the channel you're currently on right now so just, just bear that in mind just in case and so you want output wav same thing as before press start to convert it and then it's going to come up over here and then if you press play it plays perfectly and so and so yeah that's basically it you can go ahead and delete these str and xa files over here um, oh yeah and you can go ahead and close psm play and you delete all these ones and yeah that's pretty much it um one other thing i wanted to show you this is completely optional of course but if you wanted to you can actually go and upload say say for example you found an entire um, you know the, the entirety of the voice lines for a certain character and you wanted to upload it to the sounds resource unfortunately you can't upload music because of copyright reasons but if you wanted to preserve the files that you found and actually you know have it for the community so that other people can listen to the sounds that you recorded um, first of all it need to be a complete collection of either a character or a type of sound you know stuff like that but if you wanted to you can definitely go and upload it to the sounds resource which will also be in the description and so yeah that's pretty much all there is from me hope you enjoyed this one um let me know if anyone has any questions if i figure out how to do any kind of other audio type because some playstation games use different audio types like metal gear solid uses dot that audio types that I haven't figured out yet but the, um, I'm going to be doing another video if I do in fact figure out how to deal with any other types of file types for the PlayStation or any other console for that matter and not just for audio just but also for um, pictures sprites all that kind of stuff and so and so yeah that's pretty much all I have from me let me know if anyone has any problems or questions I'll, I'll be in the comments I'll um, I'll be able to help you guys out if you have any problems but yeah I think that's all there is from me and so thank you guys for watching if you indeed did enjoy this video and you did get some usefulness from this whole thing then subscribing will be a very cool thing to do but with all that being said I reckon I'll leave off here so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one